What's up everyone? Jump on in today again is our Wednesday Lies and we're going to having the topic of losing an inch off your waist every single week. You heard it. Is it possible? Absolutely. But we're going to find out today how that's possible and also what your goals are. So um, for the first little bit, we're going to get to know everybody and what their goals are. And remember, as always, I give out those booty bucks. So if you answer the questions correctly, I will give you a booty buck. You can follow up with all your booty bucks at the very end. So people were winning gift cards last week. So let's let's keep that going. I love it. Awesome. So uh, just so you guys know, my name is Danita. I am the certified personal trainer and national qualified bikini competitor. And I started Booty Bands and Barbells about seven years ago. My story and where it came from is I struggled for about a decade in trying to lose inches off my waist. And I felt like I just couldn't seem to grasp the concept. I felt like I was eating as little as possible. I was working out as much as I could. And it seemed like I was just spinning in circles and really couldn't see any results. And so for me, I was able to hire a coach and that was able to give me some direct knowledge on what I needed to be doing different. So today I'm going to be sharing you that knowledge and excited to be working with you. So what's up? Welcome in. And if you're just joining in, I want you to find the comment button down below and I want you to tell me who you are and what are your goals. So if it's like, hey, my name's Danita and I'm ready to lose five inches off my waist, or hey, I'm Michelle and I'm ready to lose 10 pounds, you know, whatever it is your goals are, comment down below. Um, a few things that I've heard this week is I want to master menopause, I want to be able to really lose that belly pooch, I want to be able to reduce that cellulite. So whatever your goals are that you're really trying to aim for, go ahead and comment down that below. Awesome. Let's get started. So every week we do this, I love, love, love lives. And every time I come on here live, you guys know I'm always giving this stuff away. It's my favorite thing to be able to connect with you guys and be able to, one, meet you where you're at and build our knowledge from there. Cool? Good. So today um, we're gonna go ahead and go over my favorite PDF and we're gonna actually switch it up next week, but today will be the last time we do this. So let's make sure we really get the most information out of today's lesson because I will be changing it out for next week, okay? All right. So today we're gonna to learn how to toss the scale. My favorite thing, you guys, is really just understanding the difference of, I mean, really understanding our goals. That's my favorite, is really knowing what really is your goals. And I haven't really had a whole lot of people coming in here saying, saying weight loss, and uh, but there are gonna be some that are watching this that are saying, yeah, I wanna lose weight. Well, let's get into that. So we wanna really define what your goals are, you guys. If you're looking to weight, lose weight or lose fat, and there's a real big difference, and we'll learn about that in just a second. So weight loss is a, you want to be a certain number on a scale, meaning that you're married to a certain number. You keep looking at that number that's like maybe it's 150 or 160 or 110, whatever that number is, it's whatever we want to go back to, to what we remember, and so we kind of get married to that number. Then also if we want to be weight loss, we want to be light when, when somebody picks us up. So we just want to be physically lighter. All right, the next one is you're okay to be soft skinny, which essentially means that skinny fat, and you're okay with less energy, less control, because weight is not an accurate measure of health, you guys. So anytime we are saying, I want to lose that extra 10 pounds, well, where is that pounds coming from? Because there's gonna be three, or I would say actually four things that we're losing in weight loss. Usually I say it's three, so the water, fat, and muscle, but I definitely added your sanity. <laughs> You're losing your sanity when you're in weight loss too. If you can relate to that, raise your hand with me on that because I've been there. Okay, so let's go ahead and now go into fat loss. So fat loss is you're looking to be more toned, defined, and sculpted. I want to be stronger. Somebody mentioned earlier, you want your clothes to fit better. You want to have more energy and you want to have more control over your weight and how you look and feel. Well, what's surprising you guys, what's so interesting is in fact they clash. And that to me was the biggest breakthrough when I hired my coach several years ago when I was struggling and figuring out why am I in this hamster wheel with my goals. Finally, I realized there's a lot of conflict between the two of weight loss versus fat loss. Big difference, you guys. And so one, um, when we talk about fat loss, I want you to think of like kind of like the body recomposition where weight loss, you're just losing just kind of everything. Like weight comes from a lot of things, as we mentioned earlier, right? In here, weight loss and fat loss are actually the opposite goals and they collide when trying to results. Big difference. So let's actually read what the difference is. 
So um, weight loss, we're eating less, we're moving more, we're counting those calories, those daily steps, we're weighing ourselves over and over, feeling that scale going up and down like that roller coaster, going on from restrictive fad diets, water weight, the fat storage mode, the cravings, that starve binge cycle, and that's really creating this lack of confidence, lack of knowledge, lack of energy, hiding in photos, our hormones go really out of whack. So if we're having some menopause symptoms, ladies, you guys are talking about perimenopause, well, a lot of our hormones is affected by what we're doing with our, if we're looking for weight loss or fat loss. So very, very key important too. So on the weight loss side, you will notice that perimenopause, you're going to have harder and deeper symptoms or menopause just in general. Or if you're not even at menopause yet, you're going to notice a lot of your hormones just in your monthly cycle is going to be really intensely high. So things like cravings or mood swings or irritability, things like that are actually not normal. Having intense cramps isn't normal. And so being in this like, you know, decade that we're at, women are starting to step up and become into this doctor field and be able to educate women so that we can realize, wait, we actually have more control over our cramps and, and our mood swings and our cravings than we actually really thought before. Same thing if we're going through those menopause symptoms, really go into learning how to reduce that those hot flashes or the dryness and et cetera, et cetera, right? So let's find out what the opposite is, is fat loss. So we're eating more, we're balancing macros, we're using resistance instead of the cardio side only, we're counting our inches, not our weight, our clothes are fitting better, we're planning our snacks, we're in more control, we have less cravings, we have more energy because we're eating more, we have more knowledge, we have more food freedom, improved sleep, improved confidence, improved self-image, improved strength improved hormones, concentration, and bone density. So you guys seeing the difference here? Into it, so the difference, now we see it. All right, no wonder the freaking confusion, because why? People are intermixing weight loss and fat loss, and no wonder, you guys, why there's so much confusion. Because if you're trying to lose weight, then yeah, there's going to be like the whole keto intermittent fasting and doing a bunch of cardio counting your steps world. But if you're going into the body recomposition side where we're focusing on just losing fat and inches, well, that's a whole other approach. No wonder why you're feeling like all this crazy hay ray going on and all these influencers that are saying X this and X that. So what is happening with our bodies, you guys, after the age of 30? It's a fact. Go look it up. We are losing about three to five percent of our lean muscle mass that's every single decade no freaking wonder what's going on now what's happening ladies now hold on i gotta get real serious here the common age that women are dieting around eight or nine years old and you know what dieting is doing we're eating less but eating less of what eating less of everything so what's happening is the one thing that they're missing out on is women are missing out on their protein because they're dieting. You guys, this fasting, the, all the fad diets, all these uh, cleanses and juice cleanses that don't even have you on protein, girl, no, <laughs> don't because you're losing muscle mass. And the older we get, you guys, the more protein we have to have. The most muscle you had was in your 20s. So we have to fight back that muscle in order for us to start losing that inch off our waist. Isn't that interesting, right? So many different ways of progressing and building that muscle. You can build muscle with diet alone, you guys. I'm able to start shrinking waist with the diet. And then once we got that part down, I got 10 steps of progression before we even start really building on a bunch of weight. So we can really start to strengthen ourselves in the inside out to really make ourselves a fat burning machine. Okay. So now that we know that, let's go back into it. So now that we know the fact that we're losing muscle mass every single decade, you guys, that's crazy, right? But now you got to hear the real true facts that's coming up. If you aren't doing strength and resistance training, you could be closer to about five to 6% losing your muscle mass every decade. Because if you don't use your muscles, you lose your muscles. So you, you cardio bunnies out there, that's great for your heart and for your endurance if you want to run a marathon. But if you're trying to sculpt in tone, do you see why you're running around in a circle? It's because you can actually be losing muscle mass in cardio too. 
Cardio, again, is really great, though. We do use high intensity through the Booty Bands and Barbells app, um, but we want to be really careful when we're doing a bunch of steady state cardio and we're also protein deficient. Ooh, that's a bad recipe. All right, so the last one here, you guys. Now, let's get real serious here. If we're not getting in enough protein, then we likely can be about 8 to 10% loss of our muscle mass every decade. Think about that. Have you been dieting? Have you been skipping meals? Have you just been eating less, moving more? Are you jumping on that cardio machine and you're not really knowing what you're doing? Honey, we got to, things have to switch. Now, you know what? Cardio could have worked when we're in our 20s. Yeah, go run like a couple extra miles and do that weight comes off because you had muscle in your 20s. But now that we're 30s and 40s and 50s and 60s plus, That muscle mass is deteriorating. We have to fight to keep that on. That's our bone density. That's so much. That's actually our hormones too. So all of you that mentioned perimenopause, talk about building back that lean muscle so we can actually get our hormones back in check. Man, it's an $80 billion uh, weight loss industry for a reason, you guys. They keep us trapped, they keep us stuck, and we just keep paying for shit, right? Right? Oh, man. Go ahead and go back into this. So what are some other ways that we're losing muscle besides just aging? Well, if you've been doing a lot of dieting, if you're not getting enough sleep, you guys, that really affects your hormones and your muscle mass. If you're just drinking a bunch of alcohol, now a wine here or there, not a big deal. But if you're really binging into the alcohol, yeah, that is called the... um, There's either anabolic or catabolic, and that's a catabolic state to actually break down your muscle. So we wanna be careful with how much alcohol we're consuming. If we're just doing a bunch of steady state cardio, if we're having a bunch of stress in our life and we're not using those stress management tools that creates the cortisol, which goes into the catabolic of the muscle too, and if we're sedentary and injured, all right? All of those are kind of have big effects. So it feels a little hopeless, but let's actually see, is it really possible we can reverse our metabolism? Why are we different, you guys? Why is Booty Bands and Barbells different? Well, this is a graph, an actual proven graph that we have been able to put our numbers in. So I don't know if you guys have been able to see that Booty Bands not only has Booty Bands, barbell so products there's also the protein powder there's the app but there's also this one-on-one ability coaching where we actually working one-on-one with you to find out how we can do this together and start reversing that clock and so we've actually been able to see numbers numbers of your inches lost and being able to see that graph compared to people that are in weight loss look what's going on you guys Look what's going on. They're gaining the weight back. And if you don't believe me, go check out Jenny Craig that's closing their doors. That's a fact. Go check out the biggest loser, biggest television show about weight loss and how it's been canceled by the contestants. That's a fact. Weight loss is not lo- no longer working. If you're following that trend, you're going to realize you're just going to end up at a dead end. Okay, so let's get out of that dead end. So is it possible we can reverse that metabolism? Absolutely yes. Not only yes, but hell yes. And I liked the exclamation points. That was absolutely beautiful. Thanks for sharing that today. Okay, so now let's go ahead and find out, well, what and how do we start with all that? Let me see if there was anything else I wanted to go in here. Um, Okay, so after 30 years, we already talked about that. Weight loss is slowing the metabolism. We already know that. 95% of people are unsuccessful with their weight loss journeys and gain the weight back plus more. No wonder why all those New Year's resolutions fail within just a couple of months. And why is it that the weight loss industry is worth $80 billion, guys? What's up with that? And what I love here is my favorite part. It says it has a very low success rate and it has women stuck shrinking themselves physically and emotionally for life. If you guys feel that you have been stuck shrinking yourself, shrinking yourself, hiding in photos, shrinking yourself to try to fit into those clothes, but it's not working, shrinking yourself emotionally and mentally and physically, or even just shrinking yourself with your food, right? Shrinking yourself with your, your, your confidence that you're not taking up space in this world, how you know you should. Honey, don't give up. Don't you dare give up. I'm not letting you give up. I'm not letting you give up. Look at me right now in the face. I've been there. I know what it feels like to shrink yourself. You don't need to do that anymore. No, you deserve to wear those shorts. 
You deserve to wear that bikini. You deserve to be in your family photos. You deserve to be able to play with your children. You deserve that and you know that deep down inside of you. So we're not gonna let this weight loss industry win. It's time. It's time you take it back. And your excuses, you just need to take things off your plate and start setting boundaries and start standing up for yourself. You've been shrinking yourself. I was in a terrible, terrible marriage, you guys. Abusive. And it wasn't until I realized I was stuck shrinking myself. I needed to own it. That was my fault. I needed to step up into my power. I needed to control my life again. So if you're ready, let's do this. It is your time. I don't care how old you are. I don't care how far deep you think you've got, how many mistakes you've made. Is it possible to start rewinding this? You guys know the store, bootybands.com. We have resistance bands and we have those barbells. Why? Because we want you to build that lean muscle back. All right, so ultimately, you guys, what do we do from here? What is the answer? What is the next step? Now, there's two programs we have for booty bands and barbells. You do it on your own with the fitness, the, the Facebook group that is right here, and you're able to go to the app, and you're able to make your own routine and your own accountability, okay? So you have to look at yourself in the mirror, and you have to confront yourself and say, am I able to do it on my own? If the answer is yes, that you're ready to turn it back, I want you to go find the do-it-yourself program, which is... Facebook group, and you're just joining all of the monthly challenges. If you're ready to do it with a coach, I will be your coach. I will make sure that I am overseeing your progress. I'm going to make sure that I look at your age. I'm going to look at your protein where it's at. I'm going to understand where your workouts are at. Maybe your form isn't where it's supposed to be. You're going to send me those things, and we're going to perfect it to where it needs to be to start reversing this. Hi, everyone. Have a good one.